Hi, this is Alan with 4A's Racer Loft. Um, I'd like to provide a update on the last three training tosses I had. The birds went twice from Rogers, which is northeast of me, which is on the race course, I believe it is, 46 miles. First time they went, it took them an hour and 10 minutes to go, which was roughly 40 miles an hour. They went Saturday. They actually did much better Saturday. Um, they did 46 miles in 54 minutes. So we're talking probably about 50 miles an hour. Uh, the funny thing about it, I'm still making some mistakes. Uh, we had the birds chipped on Friday. Um, so I kept the birds in a crate overnight, let them get in the habit of being in a crate for a great bit of time. And I came down Saturday morning, scraped the loft off, put food and water and was ready to go. And halfway to Rogers, I realized that I did not open the loft. So the Avery wasn't open. I had to call my wife who was out having breakfast with um, Avi, my youngest son and asked her to get home and open the Avery. I'll call back to check on her later and she didn't leave yet. She didn't know that the birds were going to get home so fast. So she had to rush home. Um, I would say 30 seconds out of the house walking down here. Uh, <laughs> the birds arrived. So um, that, that was a little bit of ch uh, a challenge. She's uh, not as tall as me, so to push the Avery up there uh, wasn't as easy for her as it is for me, even though I do use a stick to push it, but I can pull it down. So that was one mistake I made. <laughs> Always take your time, don't rush through things. I say that and look, I'm the one who's doing it. Um, so it gets even better. So, Today, I decided to take the birds uh, 74 miles northeast again on the race course. Um, got up this morning, um, caught the birds, put them in the crates, put food and water, and then I put the traps, I'm sorry, not the traps, I put the, the pads in, the, a little board over top, and wired it and I connected two traps and there's a wire going underneath where you would attach the clock. And as I was putting everything in and attaching it, I couldn't get the clock to um, get to race, race mode. Kept saying function not allowed and if you have a Taurus, you know, you, you register it, you delete any previous um, races and they hit one for a training race and and then I hit three to set it and, and it wouldn't set. It kept saying not allowed. So I'm thinking that the connection between those two bad pads is bad. Um, and also, Taurus says that you really can't have two pads close together. I think they say ideal of at least three feet or nine feet. I'm, I don't remember which one apart from each other. And that was 10 to 15 minutes. And then I finally realized I was holding the clock in my hand, but I never connected the clock to the pads. So I wasted 10 to 15 minutes to do that. And and I'm just like, oh my God, I'm, I'm acting like a rookie. And in a sense, I am. It's been seven years. I'm making mistakes that I should not make and forgetting things that you would think I re would remember. And the reason why I'm telling you is, hey, don't do what I do. But it's not done yet. Let's go for the, 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 the third one. So when I get back, I went to the clock. Oh, before I state that, all the birds um, made it back. Um, they were released at 8.05. They showed up at 9.30, so 85 minutes. I figured a little over 52 miles an hour. So again, that's, that's good. I'll take 52 miles an hour at 70. 74 miles and it's one mile uh, maybe two miles faster than what they did 46 so they're homing well i'm gonna say their health as well i think they're starting to feel good so I, I couldn't wait my wife told me big group came in first 
uh, and then there was two or three birds, and then within um, two minutes, I think she said, there was another fairly big group, and then some singles and doubles after. Tom, I got back, uh, I'm going to say it was 41 after, so 11 minutes. All the birds were here. So the, the four birds that came in late um, made it back within 11 minutes of the first birds. So I have no birds out. So evidently um, they, they learned the lesson and didn't want to be late today. So I went to the clock. No, no results. I'm like, what happened? So now I'm sitting there thinking, did it not read the chips because the two boards together? What didn't I do? I kept hitting buttons. I'm checking it. And I never got it to the point when I was setting the clock that it said two sensors, race ready or something. I'm like, another mistake. So I have to make sure that I remember all these things because it's been quite some time. I haven't touched a course, Taurus clock in seven years. Um, the good thing is, is the reason why you want to put your pads and test your clock for a couple of weeks or races before your season start so you can get all this out of your system because if this was doing a race that I'm leaving the, the, the track down and my wife had to come down and open it, um, it will cause me places and then not making sure that the clock is set right, none of the birds register. And I got on the phone with Ray and was trying to figure out what's going on and I finally got it say two sensors. I took one of the birds, put it on top of the sensor and it registered. So again, it's just me. So look, take your time, plan it out well, make sure you're doing the right thing. Um, but I would say I'm, I'm pleased, I'm happy. The birds are getting out there, they're flying back fast. Uh, they are homing well when they get back. Since they're farther out, they're hitting the landing board. She says the big group hit the landing board and went in. We do have some hawks migrating through, so um, that, that can be a problem. We're seeing a lot out on the course. I do see some flying around here. Oh, I did not share the last time they went on a toss. Um, there was a hawk that came in shortly behind them. I guess it followed them in. There was about six or seven that got back up, uh, flew around for a while, climbed very high, the hawk went south of me in the tree line and I came over called them in they hit the board and went in so everybody look just be careful I will do a loft update soon uh, I will show everybody what I have done to the loft and actually I, I, I bought a almost like a charger that you can use uh, if you're uh, power source is too far away from your loft that I'm going to say I'm 200, 250 feet away from the house. So I will share that with y'all what, what I purchased for those who um, might need a alternate way to charge your clocks. It worked. It was on for over four hours. And I'm going to say if I read it right, it still had... Uh, close to 12 hours or 11 and a half hours worth of power left to run the clock. So all is good. Look, um, I'm going to try to get them out once or twice during the week or send my birds with someone else. I'll go back out to 74 miles if the weather's good this coming weekend. And then next week it's just going to be shorter tosses just to keep them coming home and keep them in good condition. So look, y'all, everybody take care, be safe, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.